guys. This is Axe here and from Kansas City. Now, check it out. We're back with a video here, and we're talking about something we all kind of know about in Lost Mobile, but many of us has, have probably never had a video here, and we're talking about something we all kind of know about in Lost Mobile, but many of us has, have probably never had one or used one, and this is my very first time using a, yeah, a bot. And uh, my initial reaction, honestly, kind of scary, guys, because of the information that it has of not just me, the buyer and user, but of the players. Because there's a lot of information in here. There's players' information, such as players' usernames and uh, players' large mobile accounts. And I found that kind of scary so i don't know how this app interacts with more mobile more mobile and communicates with it and gets all of the information out of there uh i don't know the deep things like that but uh yeah it's kind of scary guys so i figured it'd be a good video for some of you who, li who are like me and have never seen an app and i am really honestly uh i mean i know it's all about numbers and things like that uh, it's a program that is basically, if, if to, for lack of words, ciphering or, you know, phishing uh, the information off of Laws Mobile. Because let's face it, Laws Mobile did not create this app. Uh, this is a Laws Mobile bot. And some of us hate it in Laws Mobile and some of us favor it in Laws Mobile. Um, I pretty much have nothing against it. It doesn't change the game at all. If you're supposed to shield, you're supposed to shield. If you're supposed to uh, catch someone on shielding, you're supposed to catch it. It just does it for you. This is the way life is going nowadays. So let's get into this video and let's look at some of this stuff that this bot can do. Now, let's start off and hit the start button there and see what we get here. All right, so let's go and I'm going to click on this here. And it takes us immediately into the next screen. I'll open that up for you. Now, so the first, one of the first things we see has a log here. And that log shows basically, um, I'm not particularly sure what it shows, to be honest. It just has a log of events because what throws me off is everything is in uh, one. You know, here's a at the top there was a here was a 28 jewels or something. So I don't know if this particular page here, which I'm on the very uh, first part of that next page. I don't know if this, this actually deals with my account as far as what is going on in my guild, as far as with me or the what the entire guild is doing as a whole or have done throughout the day. So. Yeah, so I'll move along a little further and I'll go now because I think this could be what's going on with the guild uh, throughout the day. So um, here's someone trap attack jewel times 59. Uh, and it doesn't necessarily tell me who it is. It's just the game event. So. Uh, opening scroll quests. So I'm thinking it's just the numerous of things that players are doing in the guild, in my particular guild, and they're just being uh, logged in a sense or uh, populated in here. So all of every everything that we're doing in here is being recorded or it's being... Um, now that would, that would be... Kind of funny, but I guess it does because, you know, it's kind of tricky to understand, to be honest, because the bot is not only not only has access to everything I do in Lost Mobile for the most part, but does it have access to everything all the other players are doing in my guild? Hmm. Scary. So let's go on with it, guys. Let's go to settings. Here's the settings. Here you're going to find in here, uh, that's where I was at last, so it went to the gal, Guild Bank. And these are the people who have access to the bank. 
But if I just go into the general settings over here, such as right here. So here's where uh, people who have purchased bots and they utilize them in their guilds, here's where they click on all the little um, operations and features that they want to run in their guild. So I figured this would be a great video because some of you like me have not seen anything like this and you have not used anything like this and you may have always wondered, how do they work? Now, I'm still figuring that part out, but I've gotten a little bit so far. So here and here we see um, in just the basics of the general basic information that you get out of here. And I can set this to have my particular castle my lost mobile account i can set it to where uh let's let's use the liberith right here i can set it where uh i set it and save it up in here right over here to what i want it to do i can i can if i have the coins or the stars i can go into liberith and i can set the bot to go into the liberith and plays what i'm getting there or um, let's see something else. Turf boost down here. I can go down here and I can click on turf boost, boost of all sorts of resources and stuff like that if I have them. And I can make it activate uh, the turf boosts in my guild, in my in my castle if I wanted to. Uh, currently, I don't have any turf boosts boost in my account activated so what i'm going to do is i'm going to save it but first before i save it what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a simple stop um i'm going to do a simple stop on the the uh, bot here and i'm going to open up a large mobile on my phone and the goal is to try to show you guys over some more try to show you guys it's kind of hard to manipulate there what i might have in there as far as what i got going on and we're going to see once i save it if it will actually turn on my turf boost so let's see what's going on let's pause and let's get back to it one moment here we go so i'm going to go to my turf turf boost Here are my turf boosts. As you can see, I have none on at all. None on at all. Now I'm just going to literally, I'm literally going to just um, go over here and I'm going to go out of there, like there. I'm going to keep the phone right here. I'm going to turn back on the box because I can't have the bot running and have um, the program running on my computer at the same time uh, because the bot is actually uh, logged into the, the game uh, without us seeing the, you know, the things that are in the game. But I'm going to go to, as you can see, I have uh, all my stuff food and stone and all of that stuff. I have it clicked and selected. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna save it. And it says current configuration save up in here at the top. Now, then I'm going to log back into my phone if I can. I'm just gonna do something like this because it will give me a few seconds to maybe be on it and i don't know how long it might take but let's see if it will have those activated or not or do i need to log back in or something like that so i'm not sure but we're going to find out in a minute i may have to do it a different way i may have to do it a different way guys i will I'll, what I'll do is 
log out of IGG out of the game and go back into it. All right, let's go back into it. Go back into it and see what we get. I'm loading in now, guys. There you have it. So I'm loading back in. And what I'm going to do is go over and see if it at if it actually uh, clicked any of those. Okay, so it did not do any of those. So maybe I did something not necessarily correct. But one thing I do know is that the helps right in here, that is working because I automatically sent helps. Now, as far as the turf boosts, let's see if I'm going to push start here again. If it already logged me out, it's, it's back on. But I want to see if I can get this to go, guys. Just a second here so I can kind of show you guys. Uh, gathering boost, gold boost. What are all the boosts? I don't know all the boosts I have. Gathering boost, gold boost. I don't have reduced upkeep. I don't have that. Or boost wood and stone. I do have those. I'm going to try to save that again and see if it does it. Hmm. All right. Try to save it again and see if it doesn't. Daily missions, send emojis, uh, helps. Okay, it says help. Click, check helps every 10 minutes, I guess. Can reduce that down to every one minute. Check gifts every one minute. Sending helps, stuff like that. Speed ups. Um, Training, let's use this training speed up, wait for one minute. Just fooling around, guys. Max uh, speed excess. Mm. Training merge packs. Let's merge a pack here. Let's. That's it. And it says the max speed excess five minutes. Let's make it one day. Max speed excess of six days. I'm going to save it again. Current configurations save. And um, let's see what we get. Guys, I'm going to log in again and see if there's any changes. But first, I'm going to stop this. All right, let's stop and let's see what we get. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm just, I find it and there's more stuff I'm going to show you guys. I'm just kind of, um, let's see what we got here. Okay, so let's see here. This membership, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see. So it hasn't, I did get, I did get a food boost, guys. I did get a food boost. Now, why did I get a food boost and not the others? Let's see here. I got stone and I got wood. Do I have stone? I do have I do have stone boost. I have two hundred and two thousand and something of those. As you can see. Or two hundred and something of them. So I do have that one, but it's not activated. So let's go in here and we did get a food out of it. So okay, let's we got something. So let's see what we've done wrong. I'm going to get out of there. And um, maybe it takes time. Maybe the the speed, it takes time. I have to set the, the time or something. So what I'll do is, because um, I have all of those things. Let me see if I have, um, have stone boost. I have that one. Um. 
stone I have, timber I have, ore I have, gold I have. So I'm going to show you guys again that I only have one food boost activated. Just one. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out of here. I'll log out of here. And I'm going to try this again. So since I have food already, I'm going to take it off. I'm going to re-click wood, stone, or how about I just click one other one, guys? Maybe it doesn't want to do all of them. I don't know. So we're going to just click stone. And we're going to see what that what that does. All right. Uh, I'm going to hit save again. I'm going to start it. Probably should have started it before I actually did it. But we will do it again. Uh, right there. I'm going to click stone again. I'm going to click save. Okay. I'm going to click wood. I'm going to hit save. I don't know if it's saved or not. It says it's saved, I think. Five admin quests. Collected five admin quests. I'm going to go here. I'm going to hit or. Then I'm going to save. Configuration saved. Okay. I haven't seen it change, so. I'm going to hit gold. And let me do this. All right, there's that. I'm going to hit save. Okay. And then I'm going to go to another setting. I'm just going to go to another setting. Uh, such as guild here. So let's see what they're talking about in here. There's some gifts. It actually has the entire conversation of the guild uh, for either the day, the whole day. So there's some things in there of conversations that we've had. Uh, and so, yeah, I, I actually didn't even know how to set one of the castles as the bank. I didn't know I've never ever clicked on the bank and then, uh, or clicked on a castle. And then at the top of that castle, if you click on a castle at the top of that castle, you'll see that scroll bundle, that little book scroll up there. You click on that. On the right side, you'll see a um, page or flag and you click on that second flag and then you can select which what castle should be what or do what whether you want to set it as your home base or as the bank or something like that you can actually fill it in to whatever you want it to fill it as so here's that one uh let's go back to settings and let's go back to our food and let's save it again and then we're gonna and then i'm going to uh, go back into the game and see what happened. Actually, I'm going to probably log out of the game and then I'm going to log out of the game and then um, so I'm going to swipe it up, log out of it, and then I can log back in. Right here. So I'm logging back in. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to stop this. So now we'll see what uh, this has done see if we have anything in there let's see nope just food still guys only just food so yeah i don't know why it just has food but we'll try it again i guess you know we'll try it again 
you can see it connected to IgG server. And uh, yeah, there's all the things here, but maybe we'll just try one. Let's just go for gold boost. Let's go for stone boost. We know we have stone. Go for stone boost. Save it. It says current configuration is saved. All right. And it should do it. It should, I mean, literally, the you, I should be able to select something if I'm setting it up correctly, and it should, uh, it should actually function as I would on my device on the actual account, gaming account, which I find is neat. And this is not how I kind of actually, actually planned the video. I wanted to actually go a little further. I just got distracted by doing this. And so let's see if it does it. If it doesn't, we're going to move on. Uh, so I'm going to go back in there. Let's see if we got some phone, some uh, stone done. And we don't have stone done. As you can see, uh, I am going to go out and go back in. Let's see what happens. Reconnecting in 30 seconds up here at the top, you can see. It's reconnecting in 30 seconds. Now, I don't know how long. Actually, I don't know how long it takes for the program to actually perform the functions that you actually click or exit, exit to. So I don't know how long it takes it to do it, but... Um, yeah, I don't know how long it takes to do it. Connection is successful. We're going to move on. And while it's trying to figure it out, we know that we have selected stone and all of that. We saved it. And let's move on. Next stage on here is for, for shield. This is how people use shield. It says always shield. Uh, uh, redeploy, randomize time. Got things like that. Use longer shields first. Shield when rally. Here's the thing that some people are really pissed about the bots that they shield when rally. We know that there's some bots that will tell you uh, when there's an unshield castle. You can have a preferred shield none. Shield when under attack. Um, so let's try that, guys. Let's try to see if it was shield when under attack. Let's see. You know I don't shield, so let's see if the shield went on attack. All right, let's try it. I'll pull up another device and we'll try it. I don't have a lot of juice on that device, but we'll see what goes on in just a second here. Okay. Okay, so redeploy shield. Now, this is always shield. Redeploy, randomize time, five minutes. Redeploy chill when time left is five minutes. Okay, that's, I guess that's you basically when your shield is about to expire, you just go ahead and tell the bot to start a new fresh uh, shield. So we're gonna see if this will happen. Recall gathering troops if attacked. Let's take that off and shelter hero and one troop. And let's see what happens there. Okay. Well, let's take the shelter he hero off. Uh, don't shelter. Let's hit don't shelter there. Uh, shelter type. But we're going to hit don't shelter. All right. So we're going to save it. And we're going to log in on another device and see if it will actually shield for me uh, when I am attacked. Okay. So uh, I think that's all we needed on here. Uh, Anti-scout, redeploy anti-scout when five minutes is left. You can put your scout back on. Uh, always anti, always anti when scouted. We can see if it'll put the anti-scout on. Let's check that one out. Uh, use longer anti-scout first. Uh, redeploy anti-scout when five minutes is left. Uh, so let's see what goes on here. And then we have 
recall gathering. Let's take that off. And we're going to see what happens, guys. We're going to scout it and we're going to see if it puts up an anti scout. And, um, and first off, guys, I'll show you that I don't have anti scout on. And then we'll, we'll check it out. So let's look at this. I think we got it right there, right? Don't shelter. Uh, and I don't want to have shelter on just in case I am attacked and my leader gets in the shelter and I miss out on. Because uh, when your leader is sheltered, you, you don't have your leader actually deployed or out. Uh, so let's look at and see what goes on. So I'm just going to leave that there and I'm just going to log into another device. I'll set this phone down and pick this one up, which uh, actually was not charging. You know, Apple is, guys. Apple is like funny about the charger, so I actually do need to get another charger for this. Uh, that's in the bedroom. I'm just being lazy. But I got like five minutes left on here. So five percent left on here or so. So it'll, it'll do something. So we just want to test what it does. And I wish I could log in onto, you know, I could log in onto my uh, the game. I don't know how long it would lag with the other app, the screen recording app on, and the game. I'm not sure how long it would lag. But let's let's take a peek and see what's going. On. I will have to log into the game, I guess, eventually, because uh, I'll have to move my castle off the wonder. So I will do that. I'm going to log into this one first, guys. And uh, I'll log into this one, then we'll see what's going on. So let's get it going, guys. Let's see what's going on here. Now, I will have to put the leader of this in, in I would have to put this one in the shelter uh, so that put it in the shelter so that um, just in case when I do decide to attack, um, I'm going to leave the guild uh, right quick. Open some boxes. A lot of boxes here and a whole lot that uh, I didn't recover on this particular device. Uh, and then that there. So I'm going to leave the guild. And I'm going to go and do what we talked about. All right. All right, so let's see if I can scout an axe here. First, I'm going to scout him, guys. Scout him. And, of course, my scouts have returned. The scout failed, as you can see. I got anti scout on. I'm going to go on the other device and turn it off. First, I need to get out of here. I'm going to stop it. Then I'm going to go in here to the count. And, and I'm going to take off the anti scout. So it's logging in. There we have it. All right, you see, I have anti scout on. I'm going to go over here in the corner, right here. And still just got. Uh, stone done, but I'm going to take anti scout off. So I'm gonna put it just attack boost. I'm gonna go like uh, just a five percent attack boost. So as you guys can see, I have a attack boost and an anti scout off. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave the phone there. I'm gonna scout. I'm gonna scout now and see if it will activate the anti-scout fat fingers guys all right my scouts have returned of course i didn't see a anti-scout pop there and the, the scout was successful so it did not it didn't do it 
uh, it didn't do it at all. So, as you can see, I have a lot to learn with this. Uh, I have a lot to learn with this. Because it didn't go like I thought. So, there we have that. The food didn't do it. So, there's some things in here that um, maybe I have to be online or something. Let me try it again while, while the um, program is running. Maybe I have to have the program up and logged in. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm going to find out just here in a second here. I'm going to scout again because I know I had that set up, right? Don't shelter. And then um, I had I had shield. I can't shield, but I did. I had anti-scout when scouted. Anti scout, anti scout when scouted. I saved it. I saved it. And I don't have anti scout now, so I'm going to try to scout it again. I already tried to kill him. Go out of the guild again. And I don't know exactly how long it takes for, as I said, the command to go into effect, you know, so I'm not sure about that, but we'll give it another scout here. And it was successful, of course, like I said, as I said, I don't know how long it takes to take into effect. So with that being said, let's kind of go to some more stuff that it's talking about here. Um, Go back to general. Uh, I did. It did do this one, though, guys. It did do this one right here. The sin help. It did do that one. And I'll show you guys. I'll go put this guy back in the guild. Let me show you that that did work. I'm going to go in here and. Uh, I am going to pause this one, cancel it, and I'm going to upgrade it again right here. I'm trying to get it right there for you guys. So you can see it. As you see, I got help from X38 right there uh, without being logged in. So that took into effect. So there are some other things I need to. Um, and then the commands are working, too. When I hit the commands, as far as, let's say, um, when I hit the commands, as far as. I'll copy and paste the one I did last time. Somebody's asking for some things already. Can you spam help for me? Uh, they don't know that everything is not yet. Everything is not yet uh, set up. Uh, you guys can't really see that as good as I would like to, so I apologize. But I will do this again. Um, let me try it again, guys. Okay, so let me try to do this again. Okay, um, like he's here. Right there, right? I'm gonna put the sand right here. So right, you guys can see that? Right there. And click. I'm not 
used to working back with guy. Oops. Okay, so I clicked it. And when I go back here, it will tell me right there. The balance. And there's the time I did it. 2247, as you can see, according to my clock on the screen. So there's some things that are working, um, but everything is not working like I wanted to yet. Uh, we need to join this yield. Let's see. I guess I'm back in there now. Okay. I need to put the shield back up, which I can't because Fury is still activated. But we'll get that back up, uh, hopefully before the phone dies. So uh, we'll get that done. But anyway, I want to show you guys some more of this. So there are some things working. There are some things that don't seem to be working or that I'm not necessarily doing correctly. So let's go to the next topic here. Let's look at Guild, Gal, Guild, Managed Guild. This shows you... Uh, Every guild member, it shows you uh, the account user ID, which you can see in here. Up in this area, of course, I have that all blotted out. Uh, it shows all the members in the guild. And because I don't have my members' consent, some of them may not want to be shown. I've kind of blocked them out as well. Um, so it shows all of that stuff, guys. Um, which I, I, I really don't know if it's a good thing for players to have other players user IDs for their large mobile accounts, because, you know, depending on which guild you enter or you're in, uh, that could lead to you having your, um, user ID and your, your account name stolen. And that's not pretty, pretty much good. So, uh, Whatever guilds you pop in that do have bots, you might want to um, think about when you join them, if you're joining a safe guild. And I've never thought about that before, but I think that is something that definitely needs to, uh, we need to think about. All right. So you got manage guild here. You got accept or kick people right here, uh, which I don't have anybody in there. Next thing we'll look at is, uh, let's look at familiars. And show you all the familiars in here, different familiars in here, basically that I have. You see the two there that I'm training. Another thing that it has is, um, that I thought was really interesting and it's good for me, uh, was the, um, It would be in, let's look at Guild Fest. I thought it was interesting because it had, I'm gonna go to Guild here. Resources and map. I thought this was interesting right here, guys. I had it give me a rundown of every kingdom and what it costs for me to scroll there to. I just plugged in um, cost to migrate right here. And my mic, and it gave me, and, it, and you, as you can see right now, uh, it has 859 kingdoms. I go down to the bottom here, 734. And all you do is program it right in here. It says it stopped at 734 kingdoms. So I guess that's how many kingdoms is that. But maybe it stopped at 859 because maybe I logged off or whatever. But you just simply go in here and you say you start at kingdom number one. You can stop at, say, kingdom 500. Let's just stop at kingdom 50. We'll use my might and we'll go. And I, it probably already has it in there, so it may not re, was restarting now. There you go. 
So here you can see Kingdom 1 cost me 30 scrolls. Kingdoms 2, 3, 4, 5 cost me 90 scrolls, which I will be probably ranked number 1. And then it tells you me where I would be ranked number 2 at, which is Kingdom number 6. So I thought that was pretty interesting, especially for a player like me, if I wanted to kind of know. Now, some of you already have told me that I could easily go to uh, the large mobile uh, chat or something like that, large mobile you know, site, and it will tell me then uh, how many scrolls I need for each kingdom, as well as tell me the activity of the kingdom. So I thought this was interesting as well. Um, click on relocate here. Uh, relocation type. Uh, let's hit the coordinates here. Uh, let's hit 1015. Let's put in here. You know I was sitting at the base. So let's put 1-1. Uh, one, one. And let's hit recall. Relocate. Let's hit relocate. Relocate and let's see if we'll move my kingdom. It'll probably do this, right, guys? Just so to use my gems, right? Uh, it's crazy. So let's try that and see what happens. Recall army. So I relocate it. And let's see now what it does. Army's in use. I don't have any in use. So that's nothing there. So I did reloc relocate. So we'll see when I log back in if my, I'm actually relocated. But as I said, it, I don't know exactly. I don't know exactly how long it actually takes for the command to take effect. So I just thought that was something that was nice. Let's look at some more stuff here. It's inventory here. Uh, total shields I have. Research speed ups I have. I have 371 days of research speed ups. Troop speed ups I have 61 days. Which I'm low on that. Healing speed ups. Uh, Burn pack, pack speed ups. Yeah, chess. Okay. Food. Food. Open all food. That would probably be a disaster, wouldn't it? But anyway, let's get off of there and go to chess. Open all my chess. Uh, why would I want to open all my chess? Anyway, total injury 1.686 million. All right, heroes. There's my heroes here. And their medals. Prison is inactive. My talents. Talents that are set. There's mail. In the guild. There's the buildings. Inventory. Let's go back to settings here. Let's look at the cargo ship. The gems. Okay. All right. Let's look at what? Research. Defense. Military. Familiars. I don't see anything. Your bells, gear. <clears throat> Nothing come up, but. Uh, minimum research might protect no protect noble technolables. Okay, let's look up. So it's a lot in here, as I said. Uh, if we go back to this one, we can see here. Guys, I'm gonna bite my lips. Global settings. Took me back to there. Quick settings functions. Relocate here as well. Pops up and tells you where to relocate. So it has squad hive. Now, so. That should be able to put, take me back. I'm going to log in right quick and see if I have relocated. You see right there. Tells me I've already been logged back out of the game. 
does it log back in? So I'm going to log back in and we're going to see if I have relocated. So as I said, some things, um, some things need to be um, redid. Some things I need to figure out. So let's see where we're at. Looks like I'm still in the same spot, guys. So there's a lot I got to learn on this. And as you and as you can see, I I, I give it some time to do that. So, you know, um, yeah, there's some things I got to work out on this thing. And maybe it's not even the best bot to get. But shout out to my old guilt leader, Red Rum, who actually, um, you know, kind of walked me through how to. Uh, set up the bot app and uh so i thank him for that but so that's pretty much it guys uh one of the first things i did was go in here and i clicked on google and what it would do was uh you log into your google and so if your google or apple is connected to your lord's mobile once you log in then it would set up it would automatically um import your your google account to this and then it's in there uh hidden and then you can um you have your account on here uh another way you could do it is create a new account and it will give you i think a random number or something like that you can create a bulk accounts for multiples or something like that uh, so it's a lot i don't know about it you know a lot I don't know that I'm learning. Uh, I've spent pretty much half my day doing this, which sucks like a mug. That really sucked. It's the only day I get off, I took off today. I was supposed to go to work today at the other job, but I didn't. Uh, so, yeah, here you have it, guys. Uh, here you have it. Uh, what do we got here? Gems. We got bag with something in it uh, food so I'll my job is I'll try to get things fixed and figure out what's going on and uh, take it from there so I thought I just thought it'd be good to show you guys those of you who have never seen a, um, a bot kind of do some things which we didn't get to see a lot i wish i was more efficient at doing it who knows i may come back once i get it once i get it worked out i might come back and do it again probably just kind of like a little too hasty but at least you get a chance to kind of see what goes on even though i'm not i'm not um i'm not you know educated on uh, working it uh, I, use, I don't try to use the term program because it's already programmed, but setting it up, I'm not efficient at setting it up because I'm really not um, used to it. So, yeah, just double click there. It brings it back up for you. So some things just got to get I have to learn about this go to general that's what I understand you know the help works food turf booth it just only did a food booth uh, tells me when my gyms are coming out which is in another half a day or so or tomorrow at 11 yeah about half a day 24 hours but yeah so yeah I gotta figure out how to make this work protection shield supply shield supply gatherings 
use gathering gear, auto recall camp. I don't know how long it takes to affect you. Probably should tell you some tell me something like that. Rallies. Gives you an option to join automatically if you're offline. Uh, don't feel rally. Don't feel if lab is full. Darkness levels to join. A lot of stuff in here, guys. Artifacts. Guild here, resource map. Hmm. And you see it didn't relocate. Mm hmm. Not sure, guys. Uh inventory we've seen that heroes buildings research talents armies male present hero stages got troops and it says troops T1, T1, I have these many. T2 is 40 something million. T3s, T4s, T5s. Tell you how many troops you got. So catapults here. T2s, catapults, I got 22. Nope, oh, I got. 2 million guys, 2,288,433. Two Quantity to train. Uh, train, troops, catapult. Old train, 19.5, out of base. So yeah, I don't know. Let me get in his phone and turn this guy, put this guy's shield back up here. He's already on fire, guys. As you can see, my castle's already on fire because of the box. You see that? Let's see who attacked him. Uh, this is the guy that attacked it. He didn't get anything. Right here. Oops, my bad. Two billion might, guys. Two billion might. Tacky. And the sad part about it is, look how many times he attacked. It's like, there's nothing in there, man. So why do you attack all those times just to make your percentage go up or something? Of wins or something? Successful? It's like that many times on a castle that it has nothing in it. Makes no sense. Anyway, let's put that leader back up. Uh, let's put that shield back up. And let him go about his business. We still have my leader. Put the shield up because this is the bank. So we'll put it up for seven days.
All right. Okay, so let these people know the bot's not fully working yet. All right, so got him. Everything's on fire in there. That's everything. Literally. Everything's on fire. But my leader is not captured. He's still in the shelter. Let me take him out. Recall. Shut the troops have returned. All right, I can log off of there. Seven days shield up. Anyway, so yeah, that's what bots do, guys. They, you know, I guess some people are using much more powerful bot than this that can actually show them, uh, can show them uh, that somebody's shield is dropped. So this one doesn't <clears throat> that I'm aware of. So uh, let's see. Let's go back here. Settings. We have all this down here. Resource map. We have nothing but migration costs there. For inventory. There's nothing there. As well as heroes and buildings and castle skin there. Uh, nothing there. Talents. Army. Mail, prison, heroes, and in the mail, you don't have anything, right? All right, back to log. That's it, man. Pretty much it. Pretty much it. So let's go and let's go right here. And it'd be funny that some of this stuff will be in effect. Could be an effect tomorrow and my castle just pops somewhere else, just lands somewhere else. That's the thing about these particular bots, guys. It's bots in general. Not only, not only not only is it scary to the sense that you have other people's information when you hop in a guild that has bots and they add your name into whatever. Uh I mean they don't even have to add your name. Once you join the guild, they can automatically add your add your account anyway. So um that is kind of scary, guys. So, yeah, there we have it. That's a bot for you guys. Nothing. It, it, I mean, it's. I don't. I don't. I mean, once it does what it's supposed to do, once I, once I get it set up properly, then we can utilize it. You know, such as sending help, send. Um, I guess it will help for me, like if I'm in work or something, maybe it can um, do, do something as far as open chest for me, the uh, cargo ship. Uh, it would, you know, a little things I could program it to do while I'm offline that it will take care of for me while I'm, while I'm not online. Join a darkness. Um, I don't see, I didn't see in there a fight in the Coliseum. But there's a lot of things. So with that being said, I guess that's the video, guys. Uh, I'll get this here to you guys as soon as possible. With that being said, I'm out of here.